It's a super fun event. I attended it last year, and the second one is coming up real soon. It's called Art in the Dark, October 20th is when it's happening. Marlene Quinton is with us right now. She is the Development Coordinator with the Deaf Blind Ontario Services. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Dylan. Um, good to have you back on the program, and what an event last year. Thanks for being there, and thanks for having us back. That was a lot of fun. So yes. tell us about the Deaf Blind Ontario Services. Hasn't been around for too long, but... Uh, DeafBlind Ontario Service has been around since 1989. 89, okay. Yep, started way back when, lobbied the government, a group of uh, concerned parents. Mm -hmm. they, didn't, they needed more services for when their children graduated school. Mm -hmm. So DeafBlind Ontario Services was a grassroots organization uh, built from, uh, from parents who needed more services and so on. So we came into fruition. We are all across the province, mm -hmm. and we have two locations, one here in Embrun, one in... Um, City of Ottawa as well, and uh, we are looking to build a third one in VARS mm. location. So, as what well. exactly do you do? You do what is your organization? What's the mandate? Oh, okay. So, our mandate, our mission, is to help uh, individuals who are deaf blind to live and thrive in the community. So, we have essentially group homes across the province that um, provide uh, accessible housing and intervener services for individuals who are deaf blind mm -hmm. to help them live and thrive in the community so they can be live to be as independent as possible uh, despite having deaf blindness. Okay, yes. so very important organization to have around. Very much so. Okay, let's get to the details of the event. We'll talk about some of the other programs. Mm -hmm. uh, so the event is happening October 20th. Now, tell us about the success of last year. It was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, couldn't have been more fun and it was we're really happy that uh, we had such a good turnout. Um, last year, it's a fundraiser, of course. We had an amazing live and silent auction, beautiful dinner, and we raised just under $14,000, so we're really excited about that. And it was in the town of Russell. Um, last year, we produced these pieces of art, mm -hmm. and basically, as you know, everybody was... They got an apron, they had gloves on, blindfolds mm -hmm. to we simulate. We were showing pictures as well, and you can see some people looking a little concerned about <laughs> what they're doing. What they're doing. Well, yeah. we're going to give everybody a blindfold again and some earplugs. This is to simulate deaf blindness so that they can understand a little bit about our clients and what they go through every day. Mm -hmm. So they will be given a tray of things like this one here, that, uh, and they'll be walked through. Volunteers will tell them what's in each tray and they will be walked through the art project to produce. Well, it won't be the same thing. I can't tell you what they're doing this year, Dylan, okay, but yeah. it'll be a different art project for okay. sure. So it'll be a yeah. lot of fun. And I can tell you, with the blindfold, with the earplugs, you really are, your senses are, are, are depleted uh, like crazy, and, and you don't know what you're putting your hands on. And, and it's and then, I mean, but look at the end result. That's It's a piece of uh, a masterpiece right there. It is, yes, very much so. It's supposed to be like a sun catcher, so if you look through it, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, lots of fun. Okay. Uh, no. All right, so how can people get tickets to that event? They can get tickets through uh, deafblindontario.com. The tickets are being sold online. Uh, they can, that's the best way to get them. Okay, yeah. all right. Anybody who wants them, go, on, def, go online and get those. Yeah, deafblindontario.com. Yes. Yes. Now, tell us about this uh, service. It's called it, it, the C program, mm -hmm. so S-E-A. What is that all about? Well, the C program, Dylan, is, uh, is what Art in the Dark was spun off of. So the C program promotes... Um, like our clients will go out, they'll have an experience. For instance, they went out and they, had, they went to an apple orchard, they picked apples, and then following that experience where they get to you know, feel the trees, the texture of the trees, the temperature, the smells, using their other senses. And following that, they will have an opportunity to uh, be involved with an art project. Mm -hmm. So in that particular case, they made something with using the uh, apples themselves, and this was the result, this beautiful piece of art here. Mm. and. Um, and that's their interpretation, because your interpretation and my interpretation of, of uh, art, or sorry, an apple orchard might be quite different. So it, it, that's the C program in itself. And this one was done in the summer, Dylan, and it depicts basically a water balloon flight, uh, fight, if you yeah. will, uh, throwing water balloons. So these water balloons, had, they had water in them, plus some uh, paint, and this was the end result of that. How much fun is that? That is something. That does look so like a lot of fun. Things that you would do every day, yeah. and so this year we're going to be simulating that at Art in the Dark. Okay. Yes. What time does all the fun get underway at Art in the Dark, October 20th? Well, the doors open at 5, so you can come at 5. Dinner is going to be about 6.15. We have to leave you time to have a nice meal before we get into the art project and time for silent auction, live auction as well, and the wine wall. We have a wine wall where you can purchase um, primarily local Thank you very wine. much. Yes. And thank thank you, you for being here today.